Masters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Wednesday, the 10th of April. We're looking at the Dow down 476 at 38,405. Let me just scroll up here to see exactly so I can give you the figures because they were quite astounding at 8.30. So here we go. Uh, we're looking at, whoops, a little more, scroll there. So U.S. March consumer prices rise 3.5% year over year. Estimate was 3.4. U.S. March core consumer prices rise 3.8% year over year. Estimate 3.7. Uh, U.S. March consumer prices increase 0.4% uh, month over month. Estimate 0.3. So each one is like 0.1. Uh, and that that's making a difference. U.S. core consumer prices rise 0.4%. And the month over month estimate was 0.3. So um, as we're looking at this chart, is really the technicals were really telling us the story. And what were the technicals telling us? Uh, first of all, let me let me run the numbers. Uh, well, no, I, I said the one thing. Let me just do it. It said that the TBT, which is the uh, yield, this is the ultra short Lehman 20 year Treasury bond T T bond ETF had gone to a peak E. Now, there are different ways of counting this. Uh, it's really at E slash C, and today we've gone to a D. And that means in the Chapman Way methodology, at D, other things can happen. So on the way up, you've got this, but the weekly chart is only a C, and this is yields. So look at the TNX, TNX dot X. TNX dot X, did I type that in the wrong place? Probably, oh, I typed it right there on the chart, nope. You type into the little bo little box right here. There it goes. Okay, TNX. This is the yields. This is the ten-year yields, and a lot of the rates are already they they the the ten-year is what they are based on. So look at this. You've gone to a peak B. I'm calling this a B, although there's a chance it's not. It's really it could be an alternative count. I don't see any reason why I should count it as an alternative count because. The nine period moving average didn't go pink. It's still green, and it's really a continuation pattern. And at uh, 4378, it's actually unchanged right now. That's interesting. And there's already a leg D in the weekly chart. Hmm, this is something to uh, talk about. So we're looking at the, let me just see the bonds themselves. Yeah, trough, a leg after the downside, taking out the previous support levels. Lower lows and lower highs in the in the weekly chart of the 30-year T-bond continuous contract. Yeah, and that just says, be careful because yields are not yet stable. It's not yet time for the uh, Fed. They might just do it very suddenly, but I don't think they're going to do anything suddenly. So what they're saying is, we've got time. We're not going to r rush to lower rates. And that's really the issue right now. We've got inflation, and we've got to be – that pertains to our, the now, right now. N-O-W is where, what they're looking at. Um, if you're looking at the now, the E-mini is trying to come back after the huge smash from peak D. You remember peak D in the chapter wave? Uh, that's where other things can happen. That's what happened in the five-minute chart at 8.30. Whoosh! It comes down from the uh, 52, I think it was 80 area, 85 maybe, and comes zooming down. And it comes down to a low of 51.76.50, trading right now quite nicely higher at 52.07. Now, one of the reasons, oh, let me go step by step. I said I'll go step by step. I want you to, I have to cover, cover bonds because the bonds and the bond yields are very important. Uh, so let me go back now. I can give you all the, the details. The Dow is coming back a little bit from the low of the day. It's at uh, four. It's down 433 at 38,448. So what I did was, we are short the Dow. We were long term long, and not not touching those positions at all. As long as it's possible, we will keep holding them. One goes back to uh, March of 2020. The other goes back to uh, tw the 2022 October low. Don't want to touch that. But on short term, we've got a short position. 
And I haven't gone aggressively short, even though I drew in, in the Chapman methodology, we'd like to look at, I may as well do this as a little lesson after all, that's what we're here for. I look at basically three trend patterns, straight line, up or down, cup formation, arch formation. A mix of one and two or one and three means you come down sharply, you try to rally, you fail at a peak A or a B, and then you take out the left side low, says you can go even lower, or on the right side, you can see straight line up, you make it a cup formation or a V-shape formation, test the left side high, do you get repelled? I can show you tons of charts in monthlies that have gone from the 2022 highs all the way down to the lows of, uh, some of them down to October lows of this year, uh, this, sorry, this past year, and then have come back almost to the exact price. It's amazing. All right, so we've got these patterns and what are we looking at right now? We've got this arch formation. And the arch formation says that within it, you can do a plumb line. Well, I said peak D, but I've spoken about this. I've, I went through it a couple of times over the last um, few sessions where I better get some tea. Good. Where uh, at the 39,889 high of the 21st of March, pull back and a peak C. And I use this technique, the Chapman Wave. And all these are techniques that you can see if you're a subscriber to my opening call. You get all of these uh, webinars free. I go over them and over them. The inside track repellent zone. It got, the price got repelled from the green line. Then it got repelled from the lower pink line of the little mini channel. And that said, at 39,860s, we were just a tad under it. And I said, I'm going to call this a peak C1, C2 because the uh, unbalanced volume, uh, the blue line, as well as the slow stochastic gave a little hiccup. It even gave you a little hiccup in the relative strength index to say, hey, it acted almost as if it was a D. It didn't make the D by price, but it made it by everything else. According to C2 to prepare that it could go sharply lower. And we, we, we had already gone short, so we stayed short. And I drew in the arch formation, and I used this particular high right here <clears throat> As a plum, oh, I might lose my voice. <clears throat> Make it quiet. Speak in the lower register. Here we go. I'm going to use this as a fulcrum, a plumb line for the number of bars from the 38,457 March 5th low to that high of 39,800s using Chapman Wave inside wedge target support line, the little pink dash that's dashed green on the way up and dashed pink on the way down. And it came right to that level and that huge Thursday smashed the downside. <clears throat> it bounced, it got repelled at the nine period expansion moving average and today it took it out. So the stochastic, oops, another T, <clears throat> I said there's a good chance that the stochastic will go to the teens and maybe even the single digits. But it's only at 20%. The bank is big, going very wide. And that night period moving average has given the cell, cell signal to cell mode designation a few days ago. I'll be back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The Gold Report As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi folks, we're back. So um, let me just show you this. I call this the indicator of last resort. You know, just like the Fed is the bank of last resort, this is the indicator of last resort. <clears throat> when it finally turns down, it's it, it's... It, it could be something a lot more serious. So this is the nine period moving average. Actually, I'll just go to this one right here because it's really much more important. <clears throat> All it has is three lines. This is the Dow. This is the nine period exponential moving average. That when it crosses the black 14 period moving average, on the upside, it goes green. And November the 3rd, it turned up and it was green all the way until <clears throat> uh, the 4th of April. Not bad, huh? So you've got uh, November, December, January, February, March. Not bad. And that is indicating, because it's not just a one or two day thing so far, this is a, you know, a couple of days, that's indicating that you've now got some kind of a sell signal. This is a daily chart on, in the Dow that was upgraded from a sell signal to a sell mode. That's just a designation. The width of the aperture as it comes down, as you can see here, can give you the degree and sometimes the timing even of the down move. So we have to wait for the end of the day. This is just another big move to the downside, but the day's young. I can see the reason why I didn't want to go uh, very heavily short uh, this morning before the opening, and we had an opportunity, is that there are certain areas of strength that I have to respect. Now, let me go through what I'm talking about. You've got the S&P turning down quite sharply. Uh, in fact, the first time in this in, in this speed, in this not, the very short period of days, that you've got an arch formation sharply back under the black 14-period moving average. Uh, look, it hasn't done that. It did a little bit over there, uh, but it wasn't the same pattern. Uh, it was a little wider. It took a little longer, and it's remained green. It has not since 
the since the uh, November uh, six cross to the positive side in the S and P in this one indicator that's the nine fourteen tool that I use, <clears throat> it has not gone negative. So that's why it's so important. To, if it does go negative, that's just the start. That just says okay, maybe a sell signal. And maybe if it goes underneath that price right here, the low of uh, 5146.06, if it closes under that, sell signal upgrade immediately to a sell mode. Aha, but wait a minute. The QQQ has already done that, and it's tried to rally and failed. And yet, <clears throat> it's just the, the, the price of the QQQ, the NDX 100 trading vehicle, uh, is still much higher than it was on the... 4th of April at 4, uh, what is that, 435, is that a 3? Yeah, 435.13. But wait a minute. The IWM, the Russell 2000, today's the first day that it actually crossed negative, even though it's had quite a pullback from the 211, 212 area to where it is right now, 201. This is the first time it's gone pink. So that's why I call it an indicator you have to respect, but you also have to know how to use it. And because this looks to me like it's the arch of the right side starting to make low lows and lower highs, that says to me you've got to respect that the Russell 2000 is weakening, and it's weakening so far a little bit in disproportion to, say, the Dow. Um, and I've got to respect the fact that it is uh, holding quite nicely. But I have to monitor it very closely because if it goes down below 197 in the next couple of days, that's just going to say, no, those, those small caps, the Russell 2000, nah, they're not ready for prime time. IWC, the Russell 1000, as we're speaking, has just turned negative. But the day's young. There's a daily chart. All of these are pertaining to 4 o'clock this afternoon. Right now, I'm talking about 10, 20... Uh, 10:22 a.m. Eastern Time on Wednesday, the on the Wednesday the 10th. I have to wait for the close. So I'm saying right now, this is what we're looking at. Now here's the big thing: the SMHs, <clears throat> even with a sell-off today, down 91 cents at 223.23. I mean, to me, this is the big clue. And the reason why I didn't want to go heavily short at all, we've got the Dow short. I didn't want to start adding yet. I needed to see what would happen. Is that if my key, the, the metric that I look at, which is the semiconductor's action, which gives us, really, it pertains to the trend of the market in general, even though it made a high over a month ago, back in early March, it hasn't broken down. But if you look at NVIDIA, it went pink two days ago, and even today it was down sharply, now it's up 10 so there is buying pressure, and that buying pressure to me is absolutely imperative to monitor because if you get in front of this freight train, um, it's the speed with which it flips back to the upside is really quick. Okay, so I've got that out the way. Now let's go on, and I wanted to show you something very interesting here. So now the left side of 38,457 in this arch formation <clears throat> This is, this is from the 5th of March. This is the first time we've gone below it. We went to 38,352. 38, and what I said to subscribers to my opening call is, let's watch this whole area of the 38,400s because that's going to be important. Why? Because in the arch formation, if, if the price closes above, within two sessions, I can say three sometimes, but really I like to stick to the two, above that left side low, it says now you could bounce and you could bounce to some uh, a gap or a small tiny doji candle or a nine period or a 14 period moving average, something on the upside. Well, there's nothing on the upside until you get all the way to 38,933. And I had spoken about this. I call this a potential Chapman Wave a red Roman candle this morning. <clears throat> and I said if the price goes below uh, 38,700, be careful because you could easily test the low of the day and we've already broken that low. Now we might form another Chapman Wave Roman candle if the price closes uh, above 38,547 today. So I'm watching everything very closely. The weekly charts are all fabulous, even with a sharp pullback. So I just needed to clarify that 
there is a lot of buying going on. There are a lot of buyings of all the dips. Until the buying, for instance, if today the close, we have this arch formation where there's a rally. Let me go to my uh, e-mini chart right now. If there's a rally, and for, I don't care, oh, the Fed comes on. So later on, let's just say, uh, unfortunately, I have to be out this afternoon, so I'm going to be just at a loss as to um, doing any update for my subscribers. This is peak A, peak B, peak C, and now's your leg D. In the one-minute chart, trying to get to 5220, this is the nine-period, 200-period moving average <clears throat> that it was, it was at at 8.30 this morning. It was testing it all night. Uh, you know, for uh, maybe I'll do it this Friday. I, I'll talk about the futures overnight. For those of you who trade the futures, there are some patterns. If you can recognize it, it really saves you a lot of time, bother, and it can give you a really good sense of what could happen uh, six, eight, or even ten hours after the close from the day before. So let me just do this because some of you asked uh, here if I could do that. So yes, your A, yes, your B, yes, your C, yes, your D. And you've got to an E. Oh my, this is really interesting. So this could be an alternate count. F G S. All right. So and and the um, yeah, I'll talk about it when we get back. Now the Dow is only down 384. I'll be right back. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in a fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archive live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tiger Technician's Hour is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com.
Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, folks. So uh, just to, to clarify, what I want you to say is that if the at the end of, let's just say after 2.30 this afternoon, 3 o'clock, if the future starts to really tank, make this arch formation, and we take out the low of the day so far in the uh, E-mini, uh, that was, what did I say? It was uh, 50, I think it said 51.76, something like that. Um, that's that's negative action. That's really bearish action. But so far, we've got a rally attempt coming up. So um, let me do this. I uh, want you to get back. Uh-oh, careful with the throat. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. So I wanted to show you something that I, I consider to be quite important. Look, NVIDIA makes a round number high, all-time high on the 8th of March, 974.00. Now, we've seen that this is diverse because, look, BRK.B, and if anything's diverse, you've got Berkshire Hathaway, B shares, at a conglomerate. I mean, they, this is this is America. I would say Mr. America because it's, uh, it's Warren Buffett. Um, he's in everything that pertains to the economy. So it makes what? A round number, 430.00 high, um, that was in February. Let me see, 27th was it? Or was it 20, let me see, February the 26th. It has a 422.00 round now open and a 430 high. It's trading right now at 410. It's been down to below 400. I consider this a technique I developed years ago. It really was assassinated by that huge October the 19th, uh, 1987 crash of the downside. Um, I remember I had a little Apple, uh, only Apple TV I, um, computer I ever ever had. Um, and I was getting the charts and they were all late. I mean, it was 30 minutes late and an hour late. And then, in fact, the, most brokers couldn't do a thing. You didn't know whether your order was in or out, or you didn't know whether you double bought or double sold, whatever it is, was really incredible. But those round numbers were amazing. Uh, you know, GM would open at uh, uh, 64, have a 44 round number low, uh, just all the Dow stocks, just the major stocks. And I said to myself, hey, there's somebody, you're just throwing the baby out with the bathwater. And I said, that has to be a major, major buy signal. And the next day, I remember I went on my hotline, uh, Fidelity and some others were clients. Uh, and I said, 18 months time, they should be all time highs. Um, but, and ever since then, I've really monitored around numbers. And very often it, it pertains to either a major look, look at this, SCHW, <clears throat> Schwab makes a round number low on come 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 let's get you on the 13th of march that's uh, just over a year ago and it was a chapman wave volume climax volume price climax low look at that uh where is that let me see if i can find oh, there we go i've got to go back even further am i looking at the right thing there? yeah yeah here we go so this is the low that was made right there 45 whoops stop stop got the brakes on there it is okay there 45 round number low 45.00 on the 13th of march that was the 13th chapman wave price volume climax <clears throat> and look we have never gone below that 45.65 was the retest it went up to 68.80, comes all the way back down. It went down to most recent low was back in November, I think in November of the 21st of November at uh, 48.66. And here it is trading at 71. It's down 30 cents today. So a number of things, the reason why I've, I've developed this whole thing about around numbers is it's what, it's what happens afterwards. And usually it's not like the next day. It, you've got to give it time to unfold. And I've seen this now with so many, look, yeah, MSTR, 
There we go. We spoke about that the other day. Uh, has uh, opens at an all-time high of 1942, uh, 1953. It has a round number low that day of 1942 and a higher. 1999.99. All right, I'm sorry. It missed the 2000 level by one penny. But that was the high with all those round numbers, three round, two round numbers out of three, uh, out of four. Um, on this day, and that was the 27th of March, and here it is trading at um, 1460. I would say 2000 down to 1460. That's quite a pullback. So I keep that in mind. However, at the same time, I have a lot of respect for certain indexes and as i say smhs is one of them <clears throat> and it's holding pretty well the xlf which is the financials had a big pullback today uh but it's only down 28 cents now at 41.23 did make a peak f at 42.22 about uh, eight sessions ago and that weekly chart is still very strong and the monthly i told i spoke about this these double tops these cup formations that make beautiful if you Sometimes I like the plumb line to be the exact low. So the number of bars to the downside or upside match exactly the number of bars back to that low, that position. Sometimes it just you could just visually say it's not going to work. So you have to find other techniques. In this case, 4170 was the high in the S&P Select Financial Spider Fund uh, on January January the 20 uh, January of 2022. And lo and behold, where did we go? Just eight days ago, 4222. That's 32, what, 32 cents away from the all-time high after going all the way down to 29. So I love these cup formations or the, or, or the um, arch formation. What happens at the retest is really important. So question, let me just get to this right now. CLSK, CLSK. <clears throat> that is uh, Clean Spark Inc. This has actually been on my radar for some time now. Um, I'm waiting for a big pullback to see if it's worth getting into. And it's pulled back quite sharply. It's testing the left side low. Look, this is like an inverted V. So the left side low of importance was the low of the 5th of March. Uh, C, Alice K is the symbol. It's a trading 15.68, up 33 cents. But that low of 14.78 got tested today, 14.59. The MACD is still very strong, but you can see the histograms the vertical line, that's the 0% line of the MACD, is attempting to start a move up. That's number one. Number two is the stochastic has gone down to 5%. 5% is the equivalent of 95%, uh, which I think if you are long, you want to see your stocks or whatever it is holding in that 90% range because that's fantastically bullish. It's completely the opposite of what all the textbooks say. They always say over 80%, the stochastic's overbought. Under 20%, it's oversold. I say no. If it's over 80%, especially over 90%, that's fantastic. That's what you want. It's what it, it, That's bullish. If it's under 10% uh, or under 5%, that's bearish. So I think this needs time. So all I'm saying is I think a chunk of the, the, the move has been done to the downside. How it holds 14 is going to be important. And even if it bounces, it's got to get over 1750 to really say, I've changed the trend back to up. The Dow Dow is... Is now only down 298. I'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, 
you don't have to worry about that. As Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. So, you remember I was talking about the nine period, uh, 914 uh, period moving averages that can really keep you in a trend for quite a while. So look at this, the uh, one minute chart flipped to positive right here at uh, 953. <clears throat> That's funny because I put in a, a buy and I, I I got stopped out by a point and then look what happened. Uh, well, it was a very tight stop and because of my show is coming up. <clears throat> look at held the nine period moving average even with the little dips and it's gone from that uh, let's call it 5201 area all the way to 5226 and right now it's at 5220 because it's coming back to the very important 200 period exponential moving average, which was a resistance for four sessions. Then it became support and now it's back to support. But the question is, can you go, I like to look at the market in different sections and it's not every day is the same, but I always think of it like four se four sections, four segments of time. <clears throat> There's a 6.30ish time, uh, six o'clock to 6.30 and that can go all the way to 8.30. Then, of course, you get the economic report, whoosh, 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 something can happen uh, because of that. <clears throat> and then you get another period of time that really takes you to about 10.20 in the morning. In this particular instance, that's exactly what we've seen. And we're at uh, we're over 10.20, we're 10.43. But here comes this next section. But because it's Fed Day, you have to break it up even further. So now we should meander. And what happens very often, and this is a little too much, but very often what happens is whatever the market's doing prior to the Fed, if it's down, it'll come back to almost and change. If it's up, it'll come back, come down to almost and change and wait for the Fed, and then it'll do what it has to do. This is a little different because there, there are actual facts that are really determining certain presumptions. And uh, so the facts are that the CPI was higher than expected. And the assumption is, well, rates will be higher. But the Fed has to come out and either confirm or deny. And they're probably just going to say, we're following you know, whatever the data is, and we will make a change when time comes. So what we're looking at is that the next factor is the whole thing between the anticipation of 2 o'clock and, say, 3 o'clock. And then there's this whole area of what's going on going into the close. And that close actually is the close going right to the four, you know, to actually 5 o'clock when the futures uh, shut down for a little bit. So I'm looking at this as a really a three sessions session, as at least. We've had the big move down. We've had a really strong move to the upside uh, on a daily basis. If we went from the 51, uh, if we went from uh, 5170s to the uh, 5200s, that, you know, even that's kind of quite good. We didn't. We went all the way to 5226. Uh, so that's that's 
Now, now it's a little overbought, and it has to take a little bit of a digestive phase. Okay, so enough with that. Now, let's go through these. Um, I want to go through, so Meta made an all-time high a few days ago at 531.49, almost like this double top that was at 523 just uh, about three weeks ago, goes to 531, pulling back just a little bit, but that nine-period moving average is holding firm. It hasn't gone pink at all. Uh, in fact, let me do this. This will be even more fun. Look, Meta, M-E-T-A, no pink sign. It just had a couple. It had about a week or two in December of being pink, and then it went back to green. Um, Apple. Apple's been lousy. It's still pink. It doesn't look very good. It's trading 146 down at 168. Tesla was asked about Tesla. Um, I said um, yes. You need just a little patience, but I do believe it's going to make a lower low because we had a question about it because uh, we have a, a Denner who has options, uh, puts puts on this. And um, I see Dave says, I get a peak G using Chapman Wave uh, as we pull back. Market looking to reset 50% above from you. Okay, crash on strong. Let's sell the put back. Okay, using a gold, gold recovery, but still has ground. Yep, okay. I like that. So let me just go through these. So we've got Amazon. Amazon. Amazon's trading very nicely above the nine period experience. And this is the reason why I said I've got to be a little careful here. I don't want to over anticipate. We managed to get some shorts. We got uh, the, the, the stocks short correctly a couple of times, incorrectly a couple of times. Taken uh, in, on average, it's been a bit of a gain. That's three times short the SMHs. But I really, at the high of S the SMH, I said, should we go short right here, right there? That's the best because now you've got this huge cushion. We haven't done that, so now it makes it a little bit uh, more difficult if we want to short. But my my sense is that once the nine period moving averages start to turn down, that's setting the pace for at least a consolidation. I'm not talking about smash to the downside or anything like that. I You, you don't know until it starts to unfold. Look at Goog. Goog, um, oh, I want to go back to Goog over here. So Goog is still acting very strongly. Why did that take a little time? I better do that again, G-O-O-G. -O -G. Oops, don't, don't stay, oh, there it is. <laughs> here we go. Uh, Google's coming up, I believe. And if it isn't, I'm going to go over here and get Google. Okay, we'll get Google over here. So this is a daily, weekly, a monthly chart moving from the left to the right. So Google makes a high of 160, I think it just missed it. 159.89, that's just missing it. No round numbers yet. Uh, there was one for the 157 round number high that was uh, about six sessions ago. So that's something to keep in mind. Just keep the 157 there. We're at 156.95 right now. It is a it is a leg E, probably a peak E. The technicals are still very good, and all all the, even the stochastics at 80 is over 80 percent at 80.35. On balance volumes, the blue line says a little bit overbought. Weekly chart says it's a very constructive move here. It's in a leg D, <clears throat> and the technicals are holding very well. And the monthly chart is leg E, and an all-time high. 152 was the high, 152.10, February of 2022. So I want to go to some other stocks right now. So I had a, some questions about um, USO. Can I look at USO? Yes, sure. USO is United States Oil Fund, LP, right there. Uh, 92.20 was the all-time high back in June of 2022. Comes down to the 59 area, and then it had a really good rally to a peak B, pulls back, and I don't think it's taken out that high, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, no, I think it just missed it. So look, the high was back in September of last year, 83.29, and the high, oh, 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 the high of four sessions ago was 83.25. Five sessions, five cents away after two years. I mean, that, I, I love the way charts work. Just... I mean, the fascination with price movement and price patterns that repeat over and over. Oh, we talk about price patterns. Larry Pesaventa, this is something special. He's going to be doing every second Friday. He does every second Friday. He's going to be doing um, one of his live uh, trading web, uh, webinars or trading uh, shows. And that's coming up this Friday. Check out the front page of TFN. And this is really, uh, it's, it, it's just wonderful to see. I mean, I've followed him for ages and ages, and I'm still, I, I marvel at the technique that gets you within pennies sometimes 
of a, of a move that could be days away, uh, could be even longer than that, and it goes right to within pennies sometimes of a move that's a measured move in a specific pattern that you'll be discussing. So we've got the down for 20 points, and we down 40, 40, 40, 40. And we've got a little time left before we come to our final segment. And that should be quite a decisive segment because we got into this phase from 10.20. We'll see what happens next. Tigers, we have some exciting news. Live Trading Fridays are here. Join Larry Pesavento every second and fourth Friday of the month, 9 a.m. to noon Eastern time, as he places short-term trades and gives insights into his strategies. That's right, that means the first Live Trading Fridays event starts this Friday, April 12th. Make sure to sign up so you don't miss the potential for huge gains. If you've attended Larry's stellar webinars before, you'll be familiar with the Live Trading portion. Live Trading Fridays will be strictly this portion. That's three hours of pure trading. All trade positions will be communicated clearly, and all questions will be answered in a timely fashion during these live events. When signing up, make sure to save $50 by using code LARRYLIVE at checkout. This code is valid only for this month, and the discount stays with you for as long as you're a subscriber to the service. So don't delay. Sign up, sit back, and follow Larry Pesavento as he places trades live. See you there, Tigers. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. So let me just finish this off. I was looking at USO, and the reason why the United States oil fund uh, is really important here is that um, it's moving to the upside, but it isn't accelerating in the in the monthly chart. It's just kind of a cup formation. It's making the second part of the uh, arch. It's the core row. It's called the semicircle, the quarter of the semicircle. But look at this beautiful cup formation in the weekly chart. And it went within, as I say, pennies of the previous high. This is now leg D. Oops, whoops. Did I put a D in when it was under it? Yeah, it is. Uh, 29. And this high was... Uh, 25. Whoops, that's not a D. It will become a D if we can go above it. And you've got an overlapping wave. An overlapping wave in the Chapway methodology says it, this C going to a D, if it goes over the previous D, it should go quite a bit higher and then come back and test that left side lip. That's called an overlapping wave. 
and it invariably happens is usually a very strong leg D. Well, we're getting that right now, but you just stalled it in E. So let me just sum it up. The, the crude oil is holding quite well. I'm a little suspicious uh, that this is a kind of sell-off today that is going to see a new recovery high on the day. I, I don't think so. I think that there's a chance that when the Fed comes out, that rather than have a big rally, we might stall go sideways. But if we do arch over, and I'm going to go back to the E-mini right now, if we fail and we come back to the left side low of the day, this is different. <clears throat> this is going to tell me that we've started to move down because at that point, I'm pretty sure that even the SMHs, the semiconductors, will see, if not today, by tomorrow, that nine period moving average turn negative. And it hasn't yet. Uh, it's getting close, but it hasn't. <coughs> Excuse me. So when I see that turn negative and I see the semiconductor is trading at 218 or lower, I think we start to see a, a, a bit deeper of a, of a correction unfolding. And also, we've got to watch the financials. If they start to really pull back sharply from here, that's just not a good sign. So be cautious. I don't see anything wrong in being cautious. Put some tight stops in. But in the meantime,